Good afternoon, it's Raj here from MR Sports Cars. I'm here at my village library. We don't actually have a proper library, um, so we've made our own in our local bus stop. But I thought this would be a good location to talk about this very special car I picked up in the first episode of my series of Diary of a Porsche Specialist, the Gen 1.5 997 Turbo. So I've given it a quick clean. I haven't fully prepared it yet because it's still due at Porsche Care later this week for Matt to take a good look at it, service it and do everything else that's required. But this video is, is about the some of the special options that are on this car. So immediately noticeable from the outside are some of the exterior options. One being the red tail lights. So normally they'd have a clear band in this section here. These have been specced with the, the optional red tail lights. The 3.6 forged alloy wheels are original and correct. They're diamond cut finish and they are in fantastic condition. All the insides are clean as well. And then you have the lower sills. So normally on a 997 Turbo and any other, the 4S as well, the four wheel drive um, Carrera 4 as well, they would be black plastic. On this car, they were spec from the factory, painted Arctic silver, just like the rest of the paintwork. And coming around the front, this is all standard, so it has the daylight running lights, the bison and self-leveling headlights with, with washers, and then it has three, three vents. The two sides have a coolant radiator behind, and then the air conditioning radiator, uh, air conditioning condensers in front of those. I think both probably need replacing because the air conditioning doesn't work, and normally that you, you replace those, regas the system, and it all starts working again. And then the center one is a, is a further coolant radiator. Now on the inside. This is where things get really, really special and things that I got very excited about when I, when I actually viewed the car. I didn't realize this had sort of the, the highest option seats you could get, which is essentially they're called 16 way adaptive sports seats. So that means that they have um, all electric operation for up, up, at, up and down at the front of the base, also at the, at the back as well. Um, forwards, back, and then the, the back it also goes up and down, well, forward and backwards. And then you have the lumbar support, which is found on some seats, but not all options. Uh, if, if you've got like the, the full electric standard sport uh, standard seat, then it, it, it will come with lumbar support. And that has three air, air cushions that fill up here, like this about this height, this height, and this height. So you can adjust each individually. And then at the front, there's these two switches which essentially move these bolsters in and out. So the, the top ones, uh, the bottom ones and the top ones. The, the car came with um, extended black leather, which was a, a standard option, but one of the special options on this one is a leather extended center console. So that would normally be black plastic. Looks perfectly decent in black plastic, but it looks even better with the stitched leather edging and completely covered in, in leather there. As I said, it's a Gen 1.5, so there you see, there is the full PCM3 touchscreen navigation, Bluetooth, and also equipped with Bose. Now the turbos had a different gear knob to the standard 997 model. So here it is, it's sort of part aluminium and then with two leather inserts there, and that is present and original. This car also has Sport Chrono as well. So again, very pleased with that because that gives you the sports button as, as well as PASM was standard, but then the sport button came with Sport Chrono Plus package, which gave you the stopwatch, it gave you the sport button, which increased the torque temporarily for 
I don't know, a matter of seconds at a time, and it increased the boost pressure to, instead of one bar of boost at full acceleration, it was 1.2 bar, and that equated to about 60 Newton meters of extra torque, which is, which is noticeable. I'll just get the key. I'll show you the mileage. Oh, there's the mileage just actually popped up. And there's the sat nav powering up. So it's it's that's showing it's got Bluetooth. It's searching for a phone. Oh, it's because I've just turned it on. It's it's loading the maps. There's the map. So. If I zoom out, zoom in, then you can touch on points on the screen, which you couldn't do on the on the previous system. So it will tell you there, and you can actually go to, go to that location. So, and also it has, it also has, um, obviously your CD player, iPod connectivity, USB, and auxiliary, which are all in this section here. So again, that is a big upgrade from the 997 Gen 1. I actually managed to on the back, on the drive back before I filmed, actually get the stopwatch to stop on nine seconds and 11, which is a bit nerdy, but they're the kind of things that I do to entertain me sometimes. The other cool thing, which actually only shows up when you when you put the key in ignition is it has tire pressure monitoring. So that's, that's that center section there. That was another option extra. So it has a sensor in each wheel valve that, um, live monitors each tire and will actually flash up warnings if one of them drops suddenly or over time it will say please top up as i said the mileage is very low 39803 and that's that was including the the drive the 200 mile drive home i did and then you can scroll through and get various different things 22.7 average since i picked up the car on the motorway home it averaged 27 uh, there's you can have boost pressure as a as an individual figure or you can have it as a scale which is quite cool um, but I think for, for safety, the, the best one to have is that tyre pressure monitoring there. It also has a rain rain sensor and dim, auto dimming mirrors. And then it also had the sports multifunction steering wheel. So it came with, you can pick up and hang up your phone. You can do the volume, change tracks, all without leaving your hands uh, taking your hands away from the steering wheel, which I think is is a great addition for this car. The only other thing I didn't really mention was these stainless steel uh, door entry guards, which were, were another option for the factory. Normally this would be a black plastic with a little turbo insert here, but this is all that's etched in that, that turbo insignia. Um, and then I'll just show you the engine, because that is, this is what you pay for. There you have it, 3.6 with um, variable turbine geometry. So both the turbos will, the vanes actually vary in their angle. So at lower, lower engine revs, it, it will, it will, the, the turbos will spool up at lower engine revs essentially. As a result, this car has 485 horsepower as standard. Lovely turbo badge there. And that wing comes up, again, I, I said it comes up at 70 and goes down at 50. I need to verify that and I will do. So, let me just open up the front boot. There's all my bits in the bottom there, but under here, it's all good as well which 
Just look at that rear view. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful day today. Really shows off the colour. So the other thing I do with all my cars is I produce some, some PDFs. of essentially what options the car was spec with new. So I'd, I'll just run through. So I did say that it had the side skirts painted, extended leather console, red tail light stopwatch with silver face, heated seats was another option. The 16 way adaptive sports is you could bizarrely have it as one spec with that and one spec to something else, but I think most people would expect the two the same. The multifunction steering wheel, top tinted windscreen, 12 volt supply in, in the passenger footwell, park assistance to the rear parking sensors, sport chrono plus package. The sunroof was actually, it was a no cost option and the telephone module was another upgrade on the, on the PCM3 which it has, and then it has a couple of X codes. So it has the door entry guards, well, a couple of extra X codes, which is door entry guards. It actually has a short shifter gear kit. So the, the actual travel of the gear stick, which I forgot to mention, is a lot shorter. So it literally, it's very, very direct, which is absolutely fabulous to drive. Really adds to the, to the involvement on a on a on a fast drive that is actually a retrofit you can actually buy that kit if your car doesn't have it you can get it for the for the non turbos as well and then other things silver instrument dials that was standard on on turbos the automatic dimming mirrors again turbos had that rain sensor the forged 19 inch turbo 90, uh, 3.6 diamond cut light white alloy wheels was standard pasm was standard again i've listed all these things so people know exactly what that this 911 turbo has fitted regardless of whether it was free or not um, and and what makes it special so manual gearbox obviously is the getrag six six speed psm and pasm tire pressure monitoring the three memories for the driver's seat air conditioning alcantara headlining the doors were actually aluminium to save weight versus other models which might have had steel doors. Bison on a headlight system with self-leveling. The three PCM3, 13 speaker Bose surround, digital surround sound system, which is fiber optic. Porsche and Boss floor mats, universal audio interface, leather dashboard and door panels, leather seats front and rear. And also it has the vehicle tracker. So yeah, a really, really nice spec turbo we've got here and very pleased to have it in my stock in my collection of cars that i will sell to sort of enthusiasts and collectors and then another sheet again these these are all available on on the adverts that i put up on my website there's a pdf you can download on every single car when it's available um, which has all of the options like you've just seen but also the full specification so the width height track rear front uh, inches the width of the wheels the size of the tires how fast it accelerates top speed all of that stuff on one sheet then it has the full service history all mapped out so that you can essentially assess how good the car is even before giving me a call so those those bits of paperwork will will go in the history file of the car so I set up a plastic wallet with all of the um, paperwork that's associated with the car in date order, along with all those sort of like provenance papers. So there you have it. This is the 997 Gen 1.5 Turbo that I picked up a few days ago very happy with with how it looks how it drives and i'm looking forward to matt inspecting it so that we can do our full aesthetic prep on the car it doesn't need much it just needs a polish 
and a, and a thorough clean on, under the plastics around the, the boot area. And essentially, then it's time to start finding a new owner for the car. If you have any questions about the car or what we do, then please get in touch. I'd appreciate if you could like and um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.